George. So, <laughs> I wasn't planning on streaming tonight, but so many have requested it, and that's because Bitcoin is pumping, crypto is pumping, and that's why I wanted to stream. What is going on with the market? Will the pump continue? Well, that's what I'm here to discuss. So, smash up the like, subscribe to the channel, make sure you hit that notification bell to get notified. Follow me on social media and check out all the latest news, article guides at CryptoZeros.com. <laughs> I am outside, guys. I am outside, streaming outside uh, because uh, I'm at a remote location. Uh, and it's nice out. I'm on the balcony, the kids, family inside. So I'm outside and it's quite, quite rowdy out here, but that's okay. We'll get through it. It's nice breeze, 70 plus degrees, no longer in my usual 30 degrees. <laughs> Finally, uh, it's nice to be somewhere warm. But anyways, that is not what I'm here to talk about. I'm here to talk about Bitcoin and crypto. You gotta bear with me because my setup is not my usual, and I will fix this tomorrow. Tomorrow I will I will do a better setup. But today tonight, I'm just gonna do it through my phone and take a couple of you know shots of my computer. So let me change my camera. So here I am. All right. So as you can see on my computer, Bitcoin is at 46.8 right now. 46.8, I'll zoom in there. Didn't I say, this morning, this morning I, I streamed, I'm like, you know what, Bitcoin looks like it's about to pump. It's been stuck be below that 45,000 for way too long. Overall, we have so much good news, geopolitical stuff that's helping, macroeconomic stuff that's helping. We have more and more banks coming into the space we have everything, even the technicals, the indicators are showing a reversal. And of course, we have Mr. Do Kwan, who's itching to buy more Bitcoin. So whether or not this little pump was due to him or due to someone else, or maybe even due to Russia, speculated that, that Russia may be buying because one of their close allies, Turkey, is actually telling them to, uh, you know, to have a ceasefire sell rumors maybe russia is buying right i mean we don't know but that's a tremendous pump that happened and we are clearly above 45 now we're at 46.8 the indicators are a little bit high the shorter term are coming down but one thing's for certain we've been making a stair step upward trend with bitcoin and that's fantastic i said we want slow and steady growth and that is what we're seeing right now Right? And of course, it's not just Bitcoin. You go to CMC, look at this. We're at 2.1 2 trillion, okay? Uh, a huge jump. This morning was 2.2. So we went up 0.8 billion uh, within a matter of a few hours. You know, when I got off the plane, I'm like, what, what happened? <laughs> In a good way. In a good way. So you can see Ethereum is above... 3,000 now about 3,200 you know it was just that like 20 what 2,600 recently you go down the list you got a lot of green a lot of green everywhere right so I mean it, it's just a good day it's a good day and of course this morning I talked about you know like VeChain and Zillica and how they're up and you know they're still up but now you're seeing others join in on the action like Polygon is now up, uh, you can see Doge is still up, Polkadot joining in at 6%, right? Of course, you got the big four, Avalanche, Terra, Solana, Cardano, all decently, moving decently. Uh, Cardano tracking a little bit, but you have Cosmos, that's been really stagnant, up about 5%. And you go down the list, um, yeah, VeChain is still up 14%. You got Filecoin joining in the pump game. Filecoin, 25% ApeCoin still going above 15 now Remember what I said about ApeCoin. I said, you know, it seems like I found a bottom at 10 and it's up 50% since that point Right. Uh, I see someone super chatting about DeFi kingdoms. DeFi kingdom is up 
above eight dollars now closing in at nine dollars because Cristobal is coming yes and you go down the list what else is there uh, you know just a lot harmony is coming up I mean literally if, you, if you're holding on to something that isn't up isn't green today um, then there's something seriously wrong <laughs> I mean uh, literally everything even hollow hollow is pumping at 31 percent not really sure why that is but man today is just a really really I'm scrolling back up real quick it's a good day it's a good day and look at I mean the Bitcoin the Bitcoin pump doesn't seem like it's over still clinging on wants to get back above 47 Divi Daddy, big uh, super chat. I appreciate it. You know, I mean, <laughs> this is this kind of expected, right? It's kind of expected. You, you know, you. The whole time I've been telling you guys, don't try to outsmart the market. Don't try to time bottom. You know, just continue to DCA, DCA, and dollar cost average, and take advantage of opportunities. I've been saying that for many, many, many months, many years, right? And days like today, I said, we'll come. We'll get through it. We always do. Bitcoin is resilient. It can't be killed. And that's exactly what we're seeing right now. And everything is turning positive. And this is during a very uncertain time with war still ongoing in Russia, with inflation still being a big issue you know what wall street traders are afraid of inflation rate of afraid of rate hikes guess who's not afraid of inflation bitcoin holders bitcoin holders we have it easy we've been holding on to the one thing that has appreciated the most in the last 12 years last five years last three years last two years nothing has appreciated more than Bitcoin. It is the ultimate hedge against inflation. So while everyone else is panicking about rate hikes and ultra high inflation, guess who's not panicking? Bitcoin holders, right? So, I mean, I don't know what else to, what else to say. It's just that, you know, this is, of course, sometimes it's unexpected, short term, but long term, we know it's not unexpected. This, this, is, this is going to happen. Right? This is why you want to be in the game. Is Ethereum going to 3600 this week? I mean, we're <laughs> Ethereum is pretty darn close already. Where where is Ethereum? Like 3200, 3300? I mean, 3300 right there. You know, only 10% 10% to go to 3600. I mean, that's very very doable. Very doable. I I did anticipate that this week we, uh, you know, I think this week was going to be a good week, or is going to be a good week, I should say. And it's looking like it's it's off to a pretty good start. David says, my wife says, hi, her name is Jess. Hey, Jess. Don't be jealous that your, uh, your husband watches me more than he watches you. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, Griffin, thank you for that. I, I had a I had a few I had a few before I came on so <laughs> so take what I say with with a uh, with a grain of salt at least when it comes to jokes all right uh, someone saying um, seventy percent pump for uh, did you bite well that's good ape coin looks pretty good so far yeah yeah you know what else looks good my brand new kicks. Look at these bad boys. Nothing looks better to me than, you know, some nice white sneakers. I don't know if you guys could guess which Jordans these are, but they're very comfortable and very nice. Graham says, uh, my wife is jealous of you too, George. <laughs> I get that a lot. I get that a lot. But don't be... Don't be hating on your your husbands or uh, boyfriends, ladies, because they're trying to make you. They're trying to make the gains for you. 
that's that's what you need to remember uh william thanks and hey celebrations all do all good sir thank you thank you yeah these are 13 lows i forgot what they're called they're not pure whites but they have a hint of silver gray really casual i like it it's good stuff um bruce pearl of analysis i'm afraid chuck i don't know who bruce pearl is all right if you guys must know i am in florida that's where i am right now on a family vacation so i will be hanging out on the beach tomorrow and probably the day afterwards all day so i don't know how i'm gonna do my streaming but i'll try to figure it out um i know you like blue label do you like hennessy xo i haven't tried it the only thing that i've tasted that is smoother than blue label it's not a whiskey it's a cognac is a king louis 13 which is the smoothest thing i've ever drank but it's very very expensive uh, what do you think the best proof of work project is after E2.0? Um, I don't know. There's a lot that's proof of work, but if you're trying to figure out what to do with your uh, GPU miners, that's going to be tough. I don't have a good answer for you. Ethereum Classic, Ergo, Flux. Uh, you could do Digibyte too. Digibyte could be mined proof of work but I don't know which one is more profitable that's the thing Kadena also I mean there, there's a few but yeah my laptop's running out of battery someone did convince me to get some Jordan 13 uh, thir threes you know yesterday or day before I was streaming about how I don't I didn't particularly like the threes or the fours but then someone's like, hey, you know what? Look at the threes again. And I I look very hard and I bought one. That looks pretty good. I think threes would be a good casual shoe. Uh, Ergo would be huge. I think so. I think so. Did I get it? I, I, I have some ones. I have some ones, lows and high tops. Um... They're not very comfortable, to be honest. I mean, they look good. I think they're really good with any kind of like outfit, but they're not very comfortable. I haven't really worn them around. I mean, I, ha I don't, I don't really, to be honest, I don't really go out that much. So I bought like 14 pairs of shoes. So I'm probably never gonna wear them out ever. And I still have more coming in. So, <laughs> uh, no, I'm not gonna get Lamelles. G time consultant travels. Thanks, George, for helping me stay strong. You are welcome. Uh, I'm glad I was able to help you stay strong. Jordan sixes are my faves. Yeah, I'm really starting to dig sixes for sure. Um, have you uh, tried yield farming on Chronos? Not yet, because the ones I saw I just didn't trust. VVF and MMF or MFF or something like that. They didn't. They didn't look particularly good to me, so I haven't tried anything on Kronos yet. But you know what I've been staking with DeFi Kingdoms is really paying off. It's 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 last time I checked, it's like twenty four thousand dollars or something within like six months. And you know I can't wait for those crypto drops when uh, when they release a, a crystal ball. So I mean that has worked out really well so far. What's first, Luna to 150 or Matic to three? You know, I have a feeling Luna has not moved for quite some time. There's been a lot of talks about UST and its growth. Hold on, I'm sorry. I'm holding my phone and trying to scroll here, but um, let's see. Terra has been stuck under 100 for a long, long time. Long, long time. It's just a matter 
of time before another breakout. And when that breakout comes, I think it'll drive Terra probably to like 150. You know, I would not be surprised if Terra goes on like a 50% jump. And here's another thing that I I, uh, I tweeted out today. You know, right now Terra is the talk of the town because Do Kwan is buying Bitcoin. Not only buying Bitcoin, but doing it on the spot market, right? And he's doing that to back UST. So first company really to buy Bitcoin, put their reserves and use it for something. We have seen other companies before do ICOs, collect a whole bunch of Bitcoin and that's it. But recently you don't you haven't heard anything like that. Imagine, imagine Vitalik, right? Or CZ or Brad or Charles or I don't know who Solana's founder is or Avalanche founder or Gavin Wood. All these guys, right, start buying Bitcoin. Who's to say they can't do the same thing, right? They don't have their own stable coin, but they could do it and say, hey, we'll go back our decks, right? Or we'll go back some liquidity pools with Bitcoin. Or we just want to put some in our reserves and back our own coins with it, right? Who's to say that they won't do that next? Because Terra has started something, right, that has even a Bitcoin Maxi's cheering. You, you you never have Bitcoin Max in cheering for any moves with any of these altcoins, right? But now you have Bitcoin Maxis applauding Terra and Doe for what they're doing, right? Think about all these other big boys with their billions upon billions upon billions of reserves and treasury. They start buying Bitcoin, all spot Bitcoin. Imagine where Bitcoin would be if that happened, right? I'm just speculating. But that could be coming. This could be a brand new trend that those started. And I can't wait for that to happen because all these large buys, you know, a lot of you guys are, are sick of the OTC market, right? I am too. All these large buys are OTC. Why can't they be spot buys, right? I know it's not smart because you get less of it as the price goes up. But imagine Michael Saylor's $7 billion or $8 billion worth of Bitcoin that he bought. Imagine if that was done on Coinbase, right? Not OTC, spot Coinbase. How much it would have drove Bitcoin up, right? So um, that could be a new thing that's coming. Uh, Harmony ones needs to stop the Dow and focus on DApps, TVL marketing. Ah, uh, they are. They had their hackathon. They're attending conferences. You know what? Give them time. Not everyone can can do things quickly, right? Not at, at least not as quick as we wanted. But uh, they are one of the projects I believe in because I do think they continue to push forward. Bitcoin more stable than USDC in 2023. I, I'm assuming you're saying that as a compliment, but some people will take that as a negative. <laughs> uh, what do you think about BDC's uh, monthly MACD? Uh, let's see. Hold on here. Man, it's hard to do this with one hand. I know sh some of the longer time frames, like four hours is very over overbought daily is starting to become overbought but if you go on the higher time frames let's go on a month the month is looking fantastic look at the rsi bouncing off that 50 mark stochastic rsi right above bouncing from bottom of zero and macd let's see macd did flip to the red However, it could be a very sudden reversal. We need more data on the monthly. I would say monthly is pretty positive. Just gotta gotta see that MACD flip over. But let's let's just I mean I'm just curious for weekly. I mean see look at that. Look at the MACD on the weekly, right? Just turn green. So on the weekly time frame, that that my friends is very positive and uh you know stochastic still going up 
um, RSI barely above 50. So on a weekly weekly time frame, Bitcoin looks looks pretty good. So there you go, there you go. Check RG RTGN live streaming platform with Netflix for short story films. Pays you to watch PTE movie trilogy. Okay. Okay. Um, I started crypto on November 2021 with 600. I'm at 47,000 right now. That's a lot. That's a huge gain. I bought 10,000 BTC. What do you think about arbitrage? It seems pretty do pretty well for me. So I mean, basically, you're you're swing trading. Okay, that's what it sounds like, right? So if you could do it consistently, great. But most people I know, they made more simply by just buying and holding. But if you're really that good, well, why not keep doing it, right? But just be careful. A lot of people that think they're always, you know, they're always right, they tend, they tend to get greedier and greedier, try to make more bets, try to use leverage, and that's when they they wreck themselves, right? So be careful. Any any idea why Coinbase doesn't offer Terra? They have wrapped Terra. They have wrapped Luna. So W Luna. Because Coinbase only concentrates on ERC20 tokens. So now they're starting to get into Solana tokens, but that's the reason. Later on they will. Christopher, well I see you at the Miami Bitcoin Towers. Maybe. Maybe. I'll be there, but I'm going to hide myself. I'm going to like... You know, be wearing glasses, a hat, you know, a scarf, even though it's gonna be like 80 degrees, a trench coat. I don't want I don't want to be hounded to be honest. <laughs> um man the chat is going crazy here. Uh make a stream regarding steak, how to do it right. You mean staking in general or or project stake? I think you mean staking in general, right? There's just way too many projects for that. Way too many. <laughs> Man, Bitcoin is still doing very well. You know, it really it, it does not want to go down. A short short time frame, like the one hour, four hour, does seem like it is uh, overbought, but too much FOMO going on right now. Too much FOMO, too much excitement. What else is going on here? Let's look at Bitcoin dominance. I think Bitcoin dominance shot up today because of the Bitcoin pump. Where is it at? Yeah, Bitcoin dominance went up to 42.3%. So that's I don't know, about a 1% higher, right? So what that means is a lot of altcoins did not pump as much as Bitcoin, which means that once Bitcoin comes down, a lot of that money will flow into the altcoins. So tomorrow, you know, we may see where Bitcoin kind of takes a breather, maybe right around here or a little bit lower. But tomorrow we can see a lot of that liquidity flow into the altcoins so that we could see, you know, like Ethereum and and Solana and possibly Terra break upwards. Yeah, it's good stuff. I DCA this morning into Bitcoin and Ethereum. Well, congratulations. If war ends, more pump. Yes, I do believe that is true. I do believe that's true. I sound like uh, your college professor. I guess I'll take that as a compliment. Will you still take profits going up? That's an interesting question. Someone, Azaro, thank you. Um, someone posed this. One of my Patreon members posed this recently. Like, hey, what? What is your new dollar cost? Oh no! What's your new profit-taking strategy? You know, are you still gonna sell off every ten thousand upwards, right? 
And my answer is no. Because I think the landscape has changed. My previous profit-taking strategy was based on the fact that we have like, you know, like a four-year cycle where we have a top and then we come back down. After living through the latter half of 2021 and 2022, I, I now believe that that's not the case. We will just slowly stir stuff upwards. I don't believe we're gonna have the same three year down, one year up anymore. So I think the new strategy is not to take profits according to schedule, but just making sure to take profits so that you have cash on the side. I've been saying about 20, 25, 30, maybe even higher, 35% in cash. And I believe that as long as you can keep that reserve there, that cash pile there, so you can withstand basically any kind of drops, you're able to DCA and buy the dips when there is volatility, right? As long as you can keep that consistent, I think you're good. At least that's what I'm gonna be doing. So I'm not gonna be trying to, before I was saying, oh, you know, Bitcoin has 70, 80, 90, every 10,000, I'll take off 10%, right? According to schedule, I'm not gonna be doing that anymore. I'm just gonna make sure I have enough cash on the side and that's it, because I don't believe that we're gonna follow the same patterns as before. Hey, Bitcoin. Yeah, Bitcoin just wants to keep creeping. 46.9. I am not at a frat party. It's just a lot of rowdy young people outside right now. Should I keep holding my reds, uh, losses, or sell to free up cash? You know, that's the thing. If you don't have cash and you want to get into others, right, it's hard. So sometimes we're tempted to say, hey, we just need to cut our losses. And sometimes that is the best move. But sometimes if you know you're holding on a good project, but it just hasn't moved, you just need to wait longer. Okay. Bottom line is many great projects, they did not move for months or years until they did. And you don't want to give up on them too soon. So it, I guess it just really depends on your situation. But the best thing is, if they're a good project and you can hold, don't don't panic sell, and just make more cash. Figure it out. Start saving money, get a side hustle, get a side job, right? Profit take on your winners. You know, there's a lot of stuff that you could do. I don't have my sh shorts um, or liquidations um, web page up. I I'm. Wasn't really prepared for this stream, but close to nine, close to 5,000 people watching. So obviously a lot of you guys are very excited about <laughs> what's happening right now. So pat yourself on the back because, you know, you're starting to, starting to see the gains come back, right? Your patience, your perseverance, your conviction, your faith is paying off. So pat yourself on the back. It's okay. I don't, I don't need to live in, I don't need to stay at five star resorts everywhere I go. It's fine. Still, still not to, uh, I don't, I don't need to live, I don't need to live like billionaires. I lost all my crypto in a boating accident. I don't even know what that means. Producer's vault. I appreciate that. Uh, my bullish on Polygon, yes. Been bullish on them for a long time. What do you think? Okay, Tesla? I, I don't know what you mean by that. Buy Tesla? Yeah. Yeah. Um, about 250 million liquidations the last few hours. I can see that. I can see that. That makes sense.
All the money I make is because of watching your vlogs, George. Raw or rad? Rad PP2, I'm glad to hear it. I'm glad that my streams. You know, some people complain my streams always talk about the same thing. A lot of people complain. And I don't know if they complain, but they hate. You know, they're like, George, you always talk the same thing. You talk the same thing. You just basically tell people to, to DCA and buy the dip. I'm like, yeah, because first of all, not everyone watches every single of my streams. There's always newcomers coming in, and ultimately, that is the right strategy. You don't need to worry about anything else. Sure, knowing about what's going on in the world and how it relates to Bitcoin, yes, that's important, but ultimately, how are you gonna make money? You need to buy the dips and you need to hold them. I mean, really, so I keep preaching that year upon year upon year. <laughs> that is what's most important. All right, guys. I'm gonna let you guys go. Get back to uh, back to looking at my new sneakers and doing more sneaker shopping and some drinking and maybe a little bit of family time. But uh, you know, today overall is a pretty good day. It's only Sunday. Some of you guys, I, I don't know, maybe it's already Monday, but this week is looking like it's off to a really good start. Really good start, and we can see more of it. I wouldn't say Bitcoin, you know, maybe a little bit overbought right now, but we had a lot of short squeezes. It could continue onwards, right? But I think a lot of the altcoins that haven't caught up, we could see them catch up in a big way this coming week. All right, guys, smash the like, subscribe to the channel. Unfortunately, I, I can't play my educational XRP video. I can't do it on my phone. Um, but you guys know I love XRP, right? I just love them to death. So stay tuned for that video tomorrow. All right, take care, guys. Have a good one. Bye-bye.